What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new series called Kim. This game here was given to me just a couple days ago. Uh, it came out, I believe, on October 24th. Uh, it goes for around 25 bucks on Steam, depending on where you're from. And what this basically is, is like a open world survival type of game. Where basically you play a character named Kim and you can go around and talk to different people in different towns and cities all across India and uh, the cool thing and the reason why I wanted this game was um, everything is hand painted so like hand painted scenery uh, it's also um, what do you call it? procedurally generated when you get into the um, the outside of the towns so that's pretty cool and uh, you can do this one of two ways you can do it the fair way or you can do it the foul way uh, to get what you need so I'm assuming that means lie cheat and steal or be nice and trade and happy and all that kind of shit we're probably gonna do a little bit of both so let's just jump into the story and see what this whole thing is about so, Kim lay out behind Little Knot of Mabub's followers. Wait. Kim lay out behind the Little Knot of Mabub's followers. Almost under the wheels of a horse truck. A burrow blanket for covering. Now a bed among brick bats a battle fast to refuse. On a damp night. Between overcrowded horses and unwashed baltus, one uh, would not appeal to many white boys, but Kim was utterly happy. Change of scene, surface, and surroundings were the breath of his little nostrils. Alright, let's go. So, Lahore. Once capital of Ranjit Singh's Sikh Empire, it fell during the Second Anglo-Sikh War. The foe were driven back to, into Lahore, which was occupied by the British, and a treaty signed. And a treaty signed. This, however, was most basely treacherously and prodigiously broken by Sikhs. Recourse was again had to arms and then followed the brilliant victories of Chile and Walla fought by Lord Gough, 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 who held the field but at great loss. On 13th January 1849 and that of Gurjat fought by Lord Gough on 21st Jan February 1849 and surrounded by a brick wall which was 25 feet high. Well mounted with heavy ordnance and having excellent trench round the hole but which was which has been considerably lowered. The Fort Citadel lies at the northwest angle of the town and contains large well stored magazines and manufacturers manufactories of warlike implements, etc. Murray's handbook of the Punjab Western uh, Raputana Kashmir the Upper Sint eighteen eighty three. Oh, almost looks like a real picture. Probably is. Cool. Now what? So we have all this shit. Is that me? Nope, that's me. Oh child. Tesu Lama. Oh child, what is that big house? So this is Tesu Lama. He's a Buddhist pilgrim. He's got a 57 opinion of me, okay, so we have to watch our opinion. Age 51. Traits. Short-sighted, slender, generous, and devout. Uh, me. The Wonder House. That is your case. Where is your house? Have you come far? I came by Kulu from beyond the Kailas. But what know you? From the hills where, where sigh the air and water are fresh and cool. My English is off today. I'm really having a tough time. A guru, a guru from Tibet. I have not seen such a man. They are Hindus in Tibet then. We are followers of the Middle Way, living in peace in our lamasseries. And I go see the four holy places before I die. He turned his head like an old tortoise in the sunlight. <laughs> it is long since I have eaten or drunk. What is the custom of charity in this town? In silence as we do in Tibet, or speaking aloud. Those who beg in silence, starve in silence. Give me the bowl I know of people in this city, of who all who are charitable. Give, and I will bring it back filled. Oh, oh, we got our first quest, so this is me. I need to go here. Yeah, look at me go. Look at me go. Okay, so I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to be talking to Salim Khan. He's a Muslim grocer, 52 opinion, age 24. He's cowardly. Oh, so I could beat him up. 
How much they like you? Recent effects, minus 2% on prices, base 50, happiness 2, merit 0. Brad, do I have money or? Oh, it looks like maybe I have three. Cheap and versatile, eight hour, no hunger, plus one health, happiness, minus 10 fatigue, weight, one pound. Beg for Lama. There is a new priest in the city. A man, a man such as I have never seen. Old priest, young tiger, I am tired of new priests. They settle in our wires like flies. Is my father a well charity to give to all who ask? Yes. He is rather yogi, bad tempered, than yogi. Come, friend, fill me this bowl. He waits. That bowl indeed, the cow bellied basket. The bowl was returned full of hot rice. Nice. But my yogi is not a cow. A little curry would please him, I think. I will just thank him. We'll play the nice card right now. Thank you. The grocer popped a fried cake on top. Oh, yeah, baby. See what happens when you're nice? You get shit. All right. So now, who the hell is this guy? Is he go oh, he's going to talk to me. They ate together in great content, clearing the begging bowl, and then sat in quiet satisfaction as the light faded. I think that so, old man, as you speaking the truth to chance met people, is in great need of a disciple. Why, yes, you can be my Shayla, and I can teach you the law. By this I know that I shall find a certain river for which I seek, the river of the arrow, which washes away all taint of speckle and sin. I let us begin our search. Ooh, not by night. Thieves are about. Wait till the day. But there is no place to sleep. Yeah, there is an inside a horse's ass. Or where was he? Under a horse's something? Yeah. The old man was used to the order of the monastery, and though he slept on the ground, as a rule, as the rule decrees, preferred a decency in these things. We shall get good lodging at the Kashmir Sarai. I have a friend there. Come. Come, come, my friend. Let's go over here and talk to my friend Kashmir. He's very, very soft. Uh, conversations. My father. He's 49, a weapon, he has a lion caster, he's protective, robust, strong, and grumpy. He's a horse tra trader. My father. Okay, I can't do that, so let's do a place to sleep. A horse trader, his deep embroidered baccarat belt un unloosed, was lying on a pair of silk carpet saddlebags, pulling lazily at an immense silver hookah. Mm-hmm. Smoking the ganj, I see, huh, buddy? Little friend of all the world, what is this? I am now that holy man's disciple, and we go on a pilgrimage together. Baba puffed his hookah in silence, then he began, almost whispering, Do this for me in Umbala, and then you'll find Salib, a Sahib, called Colonel Creighton. Let it be known to him that a horse, a white stallion, which I have sold to an officer the last time I returned from the passes, has had its pedigree established. He turned, feeling, on the floor beside him and tossed a flap of soft, greasy bread to the boy. Thanks, dude. Holy shit. And all for the sake of a white stallion. Nice. You may lie down among my horse boys. You and the llama return soon. You are always welcome here. Thanks, brah. The bread held a hundred rupees. Enormous largesse. He knew he, he knew he had rendered a service to Mobob Ali, and not for one minute did he believe the tale of the stallion's pedigree. All right, so we got a place to stay. We got a hundred bucks. Fuck this. Fatigue. Fatigue increases when awake and decreases when asleep. No shit. Uh, Mobob's horse dealer. Let's go here. All right. Oh shit. Okay, so you can sleep for a certain amount of hours, I guess, but. By sleeping to 12, it'll go, uh, I don't know, sleep 12 hours, holy shit. But his fatigue goes to zero. So let's do that. It is now early in the morning. You are free to explore, but be careful. India can be a harsh place for one so young. Carry food, eat regularly, and get enough sleep as you travel. Speak to people. This is your youth. Make the most of it. When you turn 18, this story will end, but you may retell it as many times as you wish. The labels below show what each button does. Okay. Don't have to show me that shit, bitch. So what is this? High buttons, option score, abandon the game, info, save, quit. Cool. Uh, my happiness. Happiness grows as you acquire merit and stay healthy. 
Um, I have stuff. What the hell was that? Let's eat it! Oh, that must have been the rice cake. No, that's the rice cake. And that's our plate of rice. Or something. And what's this? Oh, okay, I can pause the game that way. And then we have a big ass map. This map shows the towns, roads, and railroads of northern India and what climate to expect in each area. From desert to mountains, Kim's objectives are flagged in their locations. Select the warrants button to see where Kim might run into trouble with the police. And the buildings button to find out what each town has to offer. No kidding. So uh, if we cross over into here, we would have problems, maybe? And what about buildings? Oh, okay. Pawn shop, Hindu temple, Islamic mosque, Sikh Gurdwara, Buddhist temple, Jatan temple, Shaiwala stable, supply store, institution doctor, survey of India. No way. Noise. And what else we got? Okay, time is paused, right? Just because I'm dicking around a lot. Suitcase. Kim's suitcase holds all his earthly possessions. Use it to change his outfit or weapon and interact with the items he has collected. Track Kim's stats on their panels. They determine his proficiency in the various actions he can take. Don't neglect. Don't neglect merit. Holy men are much rever revered. Tattered clothes. Five bucks. Dirty, ragged outfit. Cobbled together over the years. Two pounds. Equip. Bread. Rice. Nine hours, no hunger. Plus two health, weight one pound. Mm -hmm. 15 years old, 999 days left. And we got a lot of days. Holy shit. And we can carry up to 100 pounds. I wouldn't want to carry that. I'll get the old man to carry that shit for me. Kim's notebook records all his objectives, which are often quests from other characters. Some have a deadline, so prioritize these. People will show their appreciation for Kim's help in a variety of ways. You can also view objectives which have a location on the map. Uh-huh. Good to know, good to know. What's this yet? <gasps> combat mode. You've activated combat mode. You can now order Kim to attack other people by selecting the target icon. Be careful not to attack policemen, blue icon, as they will arrest you or worse. To avoid a beating, find a good weapon before getting into fights. Turn combat mode on and off with the crossed swords button. Okay. Uh, copper, copper. Some other dude. Probably an innocent. <laughs> and what's this? Stealth mode. You've activated stealth mode. Now you can see where other people are looking, but Kim will move slower as he looks around him. This is useful if you're worried people might object to whatever Kim is getting up to. Turn stealth mode on and off with the bottom right button. Oh, uh, okay. So here, what happens if we... Uh... So how much slower is that? So if we turn that off... Oh damn, yeah, that's quite a bit. Uh, so whereabouts are we? Uh, hang on. Before we do anything, let's pause. Let's check the map. We are right here in Umbala. And are we going to... What the fuck are we doing? We're going to Simala or something? Uh... Where the hell was this book? That's it. Buddhist... Lamas... Ayamas... Lamas Quest for Enlightenment. Find the River of the Arrow. Uh, out of these secret message about a horse, deliver the message in Umbala. Isn't that where we are? The fuck? Yeah, we're right here. Okay, no, we're right here in the whore. Uh, okay, so if we go out that uh, little exit over here. Come on, get your ass over here, boy. Get to going. Oh shit, we gotta walk with this fucking guy. Okay, travel east with Llama. We can do leisurely. Minus five, plus 68 fatigue. Leisurely, plus nine happiness. Normal. Nine point one days. Minus nine rupees. Hmm. 
That's not too bad if we do that. 15 rupees, 5 happiness. Let's do it. Mabuba Lee, known as one of the best horse dealers in the Punjab, a wealthy and enterprising trader whose caravans penetrated far and far into the back of the beyond, uh, was registered in one of the locked books of the Indian Survey Department as C25IB, twice or thrice yearly. C25 would send in a little story, bald, baldly told, maybe boldly told, but most interesting, and generally it was checked by the statements of R17 and M4. Quite true. It concerned all manner of out-of-the-way mountain principalities, explorers of nationalities other than English, and the gun trade. Oh, what a difference a day makes. You're starting to see India from Kim's perspective. Where's the next meal? If you notice buttons flashing, click them. Kim has a problem, but don't worry, it's nothing food and rest can't fix. If you're not sure where to go, check your map to flag icons, mark objectives. Click them for more information. Okay, but we... Uh, so we are gonna go... Why are there soldiers? Don't ask so many questions, old man. Holy shit, like it's the first fucking day. Leave me alone, man. Uh, let's see, what's this? Beg for llama. Hindu. Hindu grocer, weapon, Jamiba. Uh, what's this? Why do you, you Hindus have so many gods? Our gods are the old gods, the true gods of India. Join us, young one, and be free. Maybe I will. Uh, it is your lucky day. I and my most revered Lama have come to grace your stall, and we ask only a small meal. To feed ourselves. Ha! If he is so revered, why does he need you? Leave me in peace. Son of a bitch. Okay, so let's buy, uh, what do we want to buy? Yeah, let's buy some cheese. A sweet potato. <sighs> uh, peach? Minus 30 fatigue. I'm buying two of those. Damn, foo. Okay. Why are there soldiers? I don't fucking know, dude. They they do no harm except except when they are drunk. They were the advance party of a regiment on the march, sent out as usual to mark the camp. They bore five foot sticks with fluttering flags and called each other as they spread out over the flat earth. Oh holy one, my horoscope, the red bull on the green field. Look! It is he. He pointed to the flag, to snap snapping in the breeze, not ten feet away. It was no more than an ordinary camp marking flag, but the regiment, always punctilious in matters of millinery, had, had charged it with a regimental device, the Red Bull, which is the crest of the Mavericks. Uh, the Great Red Bull on background of Irish green. Certainly it is your bull. Look, yonder comes the priest. It is likely that he'll understand our talk. We must talk to him of my search. There is another priest. I will find the fairer one. Never speak to a white man unless he is fed. Let us rest a while and we will find him. Alright, let's do... So we got the white guy. So we're not supposed to talk to the white guy? What about this guy? Who that fool? Where the fuck did he go? Oh, what's this? Off with the flimsy padlock, which any pick could break. Nobody is home. I don't have a lock pick. So what's up here? What's this? Train station. Oh, okay. Takes uh, rupees. 12 hours, 16 rupees. No, let's not do that. We'll go by foot. It just seems like it would be a lot better to do. Who that guy? That's me. Who are you? Uh, you are a Sikh, so tell me, are Sikhs the greatest warriors? Not I. My war is with selfishness, with the selfishness within. You should make a fine. Se you would make a fine Sikh. Join us, maybe one day. Nice. Renbar Singh's opinion has gone up. Unlocked. He had a Sikh outfit. No shit. Who the fuck's this guy? Arthur Bennett, Church of England chaplain. Let's talk about the Red Bull. Why, it's a boy! <laughs> what are you doing? Are you a thief? 
Yeah, I'm here to rob your ass. Now give me all your shit, bitch. I do not. I did not steal. I am a disciple to that holy man. Bennett looked at the llama with the triple ringed uninterest of the creed that lumps nine tenths of the world under the title of heathen. Why do you speak English? Little boys who steal are beaten. You know that? What's your name? Kim. They call me Kim Ritchie. That is Kim of the Rishti. Oops. What is Rishti? I Rishti. Was that was the regiment my father's. Irish. Oh, I see. Yes, that's how my father told me. My father, he has lived. Has lived where? He has lived. He is dead. In Lahore City since I was, I was very little. The woman, she kept Kabari shop near where the higher carriages are. Your mother? No, she went out when I was born. Oh, that's your way of putting it, is it? Kim, eh? Or Kimball? Perhaps. Will you let me go away? Open the front of Kim's upper garment. You're white. Though evidently neglected, I do not think spirits... Wait, not Kimball. Oh, Harris, son, you are not to leave until speak of the Father Victor. Do you understand? No running off. Between himself and the Roman Catholic chaplain of the Irish contingent lay, uh, Bennett believed on Bridge the Gulf was noticeable that whenever the Church of England dealt with the human problem, it was very likely to call in the Church of Rome, Bennett's official abhorrence of the Scarlet Woman. And all her ways was equaled by his private respect for Father Victor. Is he kicking my ass? What the hell is he doing? Alright guys, I think what we're going to do, I think that's going to do it for this particular episode. Um, I'm going to put the link for the, the uh, game in the description down below. It's available on Steam, like I said, around 25 bucks. It's Canadian. I think it's 28 Canadian right now. Uh, so if it goes on sale, but you can check it out there. We're going to kind of continue on with this and see where it leads us. Uh, right now it's a, a little slow with the story, but I'm assuming that that will uh, start to pick up as things move along. Uh, and we get more into the stealth and the combat and potentially uh, cheat, lying, cheating, and stealing to get and get our way. And maybe even kill a man. Ooh. Anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do with that like button. Show me some love. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, maybe you should do that before you go. And you get to see at least three videos every single day. Take care. Very simple.